you so the thumbnail it's another DIY today we're making flesh eating slug repellent now if you remember from last week's DIY I used this now this has been staring the liquid out of this this has been staring at me for since then and I thought oh flesh eating slug repellent screw it the uh obviously they, they go for mandrakes don't they is it Am I right? I'm sure I'm right. I'm sure it's with slugs out, mandrakes sprout. So yeah. Um but yeah <laughs> I thought just imagine Professor Sprout going around. I can actually imagine Molly Weasley squirting her garden with it as well. But I thought it'd be quite cool. I've not seen it done. Don't ruin this moment for me guys, because I have not seen this done. Don't start commenting and saying, oh, I've seen it done, so and so did it. Shush. Okay? Shush. <laughs> I've made this up. But yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Uh, like I said, it's been staring at me. You've seen the thumbnail though, but if you want to see how I made it, um, the way I've got it planned out in my head as well anyway, uh, it's quite simple, but yet yeah, quite effective, hopefully. But if you want to see how it's made, so maybe you can give it a go yourself, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a Pods Puppet with us, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know notified every time I upload a video. I am so close to a thousand subscribers, it is unreal and it would be so lovely for you to join us. Okay, so the plan, okay, I am gonna Mod Podge, a napkin, this whole thing. You've seen me do this before, if you haven't, Squid ink, squid ink. It was the squid ink I made that I did this. But yeah, I'll link it up there or in the description if whichever one I remember to do it on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna mod podge in napkin the whole bottle. I haven't bothered taking these stickers off because they're gonna be covered anyway. I'm leaving the liquid in here just to give it a bit of weight. It'd be fine, it'd be fine. Uh, but yeah, when I have mod podged napkin and it's dry, I will be, no, no. I had a plan. When it's Mod Podged and napkin, what I'm gonna do around the bottle somewhere, somewhere, I will, I will figure it out. I want to make out of bits of napkin, some like slug shapes, you know, like 3D slugs on the bottle just to give it that bit extra texture. Uh, when I get to that bit, I will get in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing but I'll only do a couple to show you and I'll do the rest off camera but just so you can see what I'm doing so yeah when I've done all that I will be back with you So it is mod podged and napkin all the way around. What I'm going to do now though, just to quickly show you with a couple, I'm going to use some bits of napkin and I'm going to sort of form some sort of long slug shapes. I'll try my best. Let's take that bit off. And then, yeah, I was thinking of maybe having them let me just see how big okay so i don't obviously want to be covering where that's going to be so i'm just gonna mod podge a load of these swillies twizzled napkins and hopefully they make some sort of slug shape but we'll see how we get on So I've got my first slug, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it 
it doesn't matter if it rips but i just it's too straight so right don't whip too much <laughs> but yes yeah, so i'm kind of wanting there we go there we go right so i've got one slug off camera now i don't need to do the rest on camera i've shown you how i've done one i'm just going to put a few maybe one round here uh one round here and yeah when it's completely dry i will talk to you about well I'll show you what i did with the slugs and obviously talk to you about what i want to do next i'll see you soon it's the it's dry so yeah obviously you saw me that kind of napkin and mud podge the whole thing and then yeah you saw me do one of the slugs obviously rolled some napkin stuck it on and then obviously you would have seen me put a piece of napkin over just to hold it in place that bit extra well i did that on every other slug too i thought that was a slug then it's not it's just the dint in the bottle so i did one around here i've done a couple around the back that that's the one you saw me do and then I did one around the bottom I really hope they look sluggish when it's done so now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing brown I did have a think I was going to paint it like a light brown I want like earthy colours but what I'm going to do first I'm going to start off with uh, this brown that you've seen me use quite a lot but yeah I'm going to use this brown I'm going to paint the whole thing this colour and then once that's dry i'm using a hairdryer because it speeds up that process <laughs> but yeah once it's dry uh yeah i'll be back with you let's paint it brown let's get this thing looking like a fleshy in slug repellent i keep going to call it a slushy eater now i don't know why but yeah let's paint it brown <laughs> I'm gonna mix what brown I've got left I might have to put a little bit more towards it and I'm gonna put a little bit of white just to make a lighter brown because I don't want it a block color I don't I want it kind of earthy colors so I'm gonna sponge not paint I'm gonna sponge make a you know my bits they've gone mad it's every time I speak it's my voice anyway I'm gonna make a lighter brown and sponge it on here and then we'll talk some more once that's dry because I might incorporate a bit of a green as well. Because yeah, I want some earthy colours to it. Listen.
I like so far. I don't know if you can see it properly. Oh, you can now. Yeah, I quite like that so far. Right, what I'm going to do now, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I want to incorporate a green, just a little bit, mainly on the slugs. But I think what I'm going to do first, I want to add a bit of gold. No, I'll do the green first and then I'll do the gold. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a bit of green, sponge some green on the um, slugs and I will put a little bit of green on the bottle as well. Let's, fingers crossed it's going to look all right. Right, I've made the slugs green and I have put a bit of green around the bottle itself. You will not see it on camera, I don't think you can. You can see bits, you can see bits. But what I'm going to do now is very small amount of gold, just along the creases. But yeah, I'm going to just very carefully sponge a very small amount of gold now under the bottle. And then we're just going to talk about these um, slugs a little bit more because I want to make them pop a bit more. So I think I'm going to go obviously around with a dark brown. First things first though, Susie, sponge some gold, just a smidge. gold you can tell more so down where the this bit sticks out just to make it a bit more give it a bit more definition so yeah what I want to do is I want to mix just a dark brown I don't want to do it black just a dark brown and I'm just going to go in with a very small paintbrush I'll probably do this off camera um it's very simple let me tell you what I'm doing so with a very small paintbrush around you know like right in there I mean, it's already a little bit dark, but I just want to make it more dark. So yeah, I'll do it off camera. I'll get in them slugs and they can pop out that little bit more. Oh my gosh, I am loving it so far, but we're going to have to talk about this. I do, no, no, we'll, we'll figure something out. The slugs have a bit of definition now. They're popping out nicely. The paint's still a bit wet. But what I'm going to do now is I think it's time to stick the label on. Now, excuse me, sorry, hang on, one sec. Oh my God, get off the lid. Thank you. Right, so the label is gonna go here. Oh, thank God, I thought one of the slugs was gonna be in the way. Yeah, I'm gonna put the label there. So let's, tell you what, let's do this now. I don't need to go off camera. We can, we can chat while I do it. But yeah, it's this, this, I don't like this. It's too white, it's too white. I wasn't going to leave it like that anyway, but it's really just starting to do my head in now. So yeah, and I think, I think I'm going to paint it black. I do. I think I'm going to paint it black and then we'll see how we get on. Um, but yeah, I think a base, definitely black. And then whether I leave it black or not, we'll have to see. Okay, let me just make sure that's stuck down. I think what I'm going to do as well, that looks really cool, I like it, I am just going to, just with a little bit of Mod Podge, just 
sort of round the edges a bit. And you might as well do that, make the whole thing shiny. There we go. So we've stuck the label on now. I like this, this is really cool. At the end, as per usual, I will um, pro take proper photos, my proper photos, um, and show you it properly in a bit more in detail anyway. But just take my word for it, if you can't tell. It's looking quite cool and I'm really, really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now, I think, is I'm gonna have to go wash my brush again. Honestly, you don't see the stuff that happens behind the scenes. I'm constantly washing these brushes and sponges and everything. It's ridiculous, and the hairdryer, it's just constantly on. But yeah, I'm gonna go wash this brush again. And I am, I'm gonna go paint this black. That's better. No, I'm really happy with that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry or um, make it dry quicker, <laughs> more likely. And then I might put some sort of detailing on it somewhere. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I'm going to do it off, off camera. It won't be anything massive to show you. I'll tell you now. It'll just be a matter of sponging a colour on. But yeah, then it'll be done. So just bear with me while I finish these last bits. And it'll seem a second to you anyway. I'll see you soon. I don't know why I'm showing you again, I keep doing that, I've just shown you pictures of it, but I really hope I caught, you know, the pictures, I tried to do it so you could see the detail of the, some of the colours and things, I mean you can see, but the camera's just not, photography photos are better, but what do you think, I am really pleased with how this has turned out, it actually looks better than I thought it was going to do, I know, the birds are out again lot, they've been really quiet, but I start talking, they start talking. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, oh my gosh, I'm knocking you. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Let me know if you're going to have a go. And if you do, send me pictures on social media because I'd love to see your creations, even if it's not something I've made. I love looking at people's ideas. You might give me ideas as well, which is really cool. I mean, I've got a list of ideas for DIYs, trust me. Some of them I'm really excited about as well. Well, I'm excited about more, but some of them are like, oh my God, I need to do that now. But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to stop bubbling now, yeah. But yeah, make sure you get in touch with me on social media with your creations, even if it's not something I've made. But yeah, I'll speak to you all in my next video. Shush birds, they're rude. Ellie Blue. Speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Buds Puppets.